showing you this way around because look little poodles found the sun <laughs> and I've still got my I love you mummy poster up from Ted in the summer and uh, showing you my Whitmore I'm really happy with this so the sleeves are I think I've said this already slightly shorter than the recommended length for the bishop sleeve but this is really practical for me and as much as I loved my wingy swingy sleeves um I couldn't shove them up my arm without them flopping back down again also I wanted to show you look what Karen has sent me through the post now Karen is um I don't know her in real life. I follow her on Instagram and she follows me on Instagram and my YouTubes. And um, she's an incredible knitter, a prolific knitter. And I love everything she knits. And I was <laughs> admiring these. And after seeing these on her feed, I can't remember what they're called, but they're by Olivia, this handmade life. I popped them in my Ravelry favourites. And, um, in fact, I think I bought the pattern. And look, Karen knitted them for me and sent them as a surprise. She also sent, Bunny's woofing at something. She also sent me a wooden hand-turned, hand-whittled spoon. I've got one of those already. It's one of my most favourite things ever, made by her husband. And, um... Some gorgeous little dipped candles, beeswax candles, oh, honestly. Sometimes I feel like Karen knows better than I know what I like. You can't see. These are not grey. These are sage green and they are stunning. Yes, they are stunning, but they're too big for me and there's only two. And obviously I have four feet. Well, actually I have two hands and two feet but um you know i'm in disguise as a poodle so i got four feet all right polks oh, i'll tell you what we could try those little socks on you from the christmas tree couldn't we should we do that later you'll be having none of it i'm sure no i won't have a thing to do with that imbecilic behavior the other thing incredible thing about karen is her <laughs> she doesn't know what size feet i am well Maybe I've mentioned it somewhere, but I sometimes struggle to knit a sock that fits my feet perfectly. They're either a bit too long or a bit too short. These fit like a glove. They fit like a sock. Look at that. Oh, these are so beautiful. Sometimes I look really boss eyed. Look at me, look. <laughs> uh, I've done my eye makeup differently today and I don't think I like it. I think I look tired. I think I look like I've been punched in the eyeballs. I have washed all of the dark hand knits and now I'm going to wash the light hand knits. That's there because I'm going to go to the refill shop and refill that today. Margot's prancing. What are you doing, Margs? Oh, she stopped twirling now. Yeah, so that's a lovely fine pile of hand knits i love washing hand knits i don't wash them by hand i just shove them in the wool cycle in the washing machine but it's just lovely the smell of them as they're drying they're kind of woolly and fragrant i always love it i've been making caramel it's amazing how quickly it goes almost too dark and a little bit bitter. I think it'd be all right though. Um, I'm, stick I'm using it to stick together Ted's gingerbread cake. 
So let's just alter the camera angle. Right, this has gone a bit too dark. Right, I'm not gonna use too much of it though. I've got some reparations to do, some repairs, because the end fell off here. But basically, just get it stuck together. Lay that there, that should be all right. Okay, so which one was the roof? This was the roof, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, I need a couple of walls. Okay, so dump the wall. I'm filming it. Caramel. On it goes. Oh, I feel like Sarah Beanie. drying oh yeah it's really look, look at this little knob all there it's proper cracking that's good that's good news that's what I need has this bit stuck oh yeah that bit's stuck already look epic right oh dear I'm not gonna be able to get that in there and I don't want to move all of that Okay, let's get inventive. Oh, I've done that wrong, because, right. Because the wall needs to stick to there. Oh, we need to work fast, because it's going hard already. Keep your hand out the way. Just getting a little bit to put on the inside, reinforce it somewhat. Oh, it's going to be covered in sweets anyway, so we don't ma don't mind what it looks like. But we just don't want it to fall to pieces before the twenty eighth of December, which is Ted's birthday, which is a day before our wedding anniversary and the day after Granny's birthday. Granny was 60 and we gave her a grandchild for her birthday. Fancy doing this and filming yourself. <laughs> ah. Here you are. It's going hard. Lucky jumpy. What a mess. What a mess. ran out of things to stick on. I don't really like how the pretzels look, but I do like how they taste. I don't like pretzels, but I like them covered in chocolate. Oh dear. Now I can't talk. 
was going to say, I finished because I've run out of icing and no doubt some of these bits will fall off in the next couple of weeks and I'll have to make some more to stick it on. However, I've just noticed like loads of icing left. Loads. So I'm going to continue with the roof and then I will probably get some more sweets, jelly tots, little bits and pieces and continue decorating when well, the day before his birthday, I expect, so that I can um, do any reparations and additions. You know, a refurb. It, it's a doer upper. Right, there we go, that'll do. There was a time when I would have taken about four days to do this, and I would have done it with such precision. I'd have got my ruler out, I'd have made my own royal icing, and got my piping nozzles and all sorts but then I would have to sit there and watch it get smashed up <laughs> so now I do it like a child and I enjoy every minute and I don't worry about it and then when it gets smashed up I'm not bothered I've had a washing disaster I'm laughing because I didn't laugh I would cry. Do you remember my beautiful pink Bregna sweater? That I wore loads. And then I got the cuff dirty with coffee. Well, I put it in the washing machine. <laughs> Seriously, Gaina, what have you done? I put it in the washing machine, just like I do all of my woolens. Well, I will not be doing this again with alpaca silk look at it look at it <laughs> look <laughs> oh, hang on it barely covers my boobies <laughs> oh it's gone so thick Proper, proper felt it, that is. Oh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fling it in the tumble dryer. And in fact, uh, will I? What am I going to do with it? Let me think. I'm going to make a hot water bottle cover out of it. I'm not going to fling it in the tumble dryer. I'm just going to make... Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know it wasn't my dream yarn for this jumper, but it was such a nice, cosy thing to wear around the house. Oh well, at least now I can knit it in the yarn I want to knit it in. Um, I'm multitasking. We are on our way out now to get a, um, a burger. I'm going to do a drive through. Ted came home for the Christmas holidays today, and when we turned up at school to pick up Wilf, um, Wilf didn't spot him originally. I'll get my coat on now. Where can I prop you? This is a bad idea because. He was going to be cross waiting for me. Um, Wilf didn't spot Ted immediately and he was mucking about with his mates. And I said, uh, Wilf, look who's here. And he saw Ted and he went, oh, my brother, jumped on him. And uh, a couple of the mums noticed. They were like, oh, that's so cute. Oh. <laughs> and it really was. And it was one of those moments. And I'm recording it now so that... I remember forever because it was just so, 
utterly adorable. Now, we're so extra. Look, we're taking tablecloth, napkins, and a tray to, to eat our takeaway on. <laughs> Right, I'm just, um, excuse my face, no makeup. Um, uh, seeing if my older sweater's fitting okay. I think it is. I think maybe that could have done with being a little longer, but I think it'll be all right once it's blocked. P. What a gorgeous morning. Look at the sun hitting this dogwood. I think it's dogwood. It's got little... It won't focus. It won't focus. Hello. My neglected victory garden. I'll get that going again next year. Toby brought the um, work van home because I've bought a piece of furniture off of eBay and we don't think it's going to fit in here. I don't know what we're going to do. I think you might have to hook up the trailer. I think we managed to get it in. Cool, it only just goes in. Wow, oh, it's lovely. I was going to paint it, but that's actually a nice colour. I'm having such a lovely time sorting out my new cupboard. Look at this little thing, she wants something to eat. And um, I've been out in the paddock chatting to Franca and uh, <laughs> I've only just realised I haven't taken off all my warm things. Yes, so I've been in here a little while <laughs> sorting out my cupboard. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Do you remember that funny face you did on Granny that time? And you went, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get, yeah, you were little, weren't you? I'll get the photograph here. But yeah, I've got my hat on and my uh, earmuffs. And look at all this mess. So. Yeah, you're a mess. Still got to sort out. Right, so I'll insert that picture now of Wilfred. He, um, <laughs> he... He was lying underneath the blanket Granny had made and he pulled oh. such a funny face. And then when <laughs> we giggled and showed him the picture, he was only a little dot. He must have been about three and he went, I didn't know I could do that. I was not three years old. We were little. I was... Look at this mess. I'm in such a mess. There's all that fabric I need to find homes for. Oh, and look. Oh, this is horrendous. I can't live with it like this for much longer. I have to get this sorted. Definitely. Um, but I want to show you my lovely cupboard. It's full. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> right. So in here, these are all project bags lined up with projects. Projects are inside them. Patterns are inside them not the needles and this is a pile of project bags but this isn't all the project bags I own once I can get behind that drawer there is a whole basket full of project bags so I need to stop making and buying project bags yeah <laughs> that's not going to be easy in here I have sewing bits and pieces and that's all paperwork for fundraising bill school. Um, that's my English paper piecing. I'll show you that another day. I'll show you everything properly another time. It's a it's a star blanket. That's my interfacing. That's stuff for another blanket. Oh, that was loud. And then I've got my craft books here: knitting books, sewing books, crafting books. Um, English paper piecing kit. What are those called? The little poppers, press studs, calligraphy, gardening, sewing machine, embroidery. 
threads in there. This drawer is mostly leftovers. That's this area here. Um, things that I frogged here and here. Excuse these plastic bags, they get used and reused and reused. Um, then I've got lots and lots of cotton yarn, which is stuff that I have had for so long. Um, when I was a crochet. Um, and then I've got a load of Kid Silk Haze, Kid Silk Aura. This is all really deep, deep stash. So yeah, a lot of stuff there. This drawer, I need to knit my way through this drawer or I need to give away the contents of this drawer. But oh, some of it is divine. I was given this myself and some moth thing there we get moths so I've got these things which are environmentally disastrous and this I've just given everything a good squirt in this as well because it would be awful to get moths in your wool wouldn't it yeah this is going to be the most beautiful pair of socks might do heels that that might be fun I don't know Yes, just oh, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Really thrilled that I've got my yarn to hand because it was difficult to access before. But this drawer, oh, this drawer makes me so happy. I've got things I was given here from Nikki and things here from Franca from a local shop and things here from Laura. We made this home. Stuff I bought for myself. A little pile of snowy goodness. This just makes me think of rabbits and therefore jewels. And then I've got things I bought in New York nine years ago. <laughs> Still not used. And this is hand spun from Bonnie. Meadow Sweet Farm Fibre Arts. And I've got some gifts. These are all gifts and then stuff that I dyed when I went on a retreat oh just all of it is just so lovely oops just tripped over bunny yeah so that's really lovely isn't it lovely bunny oh is it bunny oh bunny I'm still sorting out and faffing and I have a confession to make it's actually quite late now, so I'm getting a bit tired, but. They're my project bags, and they aren't all of my project bags. I have others scattered around. But just in this drawer behind me, I have 42 project bags. <laughs> How many is too many? Thank you.